Dal and I'm currently standing on will get revamped to this. What do you think about that? I'm really hyped for that. I think it's about to change Bloxers forever. I think it's about to change Bloxers forever too. But all this teasing really started on February 17th when Ripinder hinted about a big news. And only nine days later, we got the massive news that shocked the entire Bloxers community with all the old islands and sword getting a huge revamp. It was no surprise that the community was filled with joy and excitement. And so was I. But starting off, the major part of this update is all the island reworks. All the first sea and second sea islands will be getting a huge revamp. And all of these islands will be much bigger than before. Like, look at this. This is the old middle town, and this is the new middle town. I'm kind of sad that they removed the fountain, but they did make the island much bigger than before. And they also added this clock throughout the island. That looks so much better. We also get a really good close-up in the Gamer Robot video of the new middle town. Okay, so this is the closer look and all the decorations around the island is just looking great. And it kind of actually looks like the port town more than the middle town. This is the old cafe, and this is the new cafe. This completely outclasses the old one. Now, it kind of actually looks like a cafe. Look at the old one. It makes the old one look so much more outdated. This is the Kingdom of Rose, and this is the new Kingdom of Rose. You can kind of see the great tree looking really great this time. That's the Coliseum right there. And in the old picture, the great tree isn't really that great. It's not very great. This is the old hot and cold island, and this is the new hot and cold island. They got these bridges and stuff going around. I don't even know, that, that looks like some core or something. I have no clue, but that just looks really cool. The old one has so little going on. It looks really blank compared to the new one. It has much more going on. So many more trees, so many more decorations a lot more icebergs like the island is just much bigger than before next we have the pirate village the pirate village looks okay -ish, but the new pirate village oh, ho, 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 ho. they got all this building and stuff it actually looks like a village now there's like this windmill and all that they got this flag and stuff going around that looks so much better it actually looks like a village now this also makes the old one look really outdated too and then we have the old cursed ship pretty blank really dark and just this lamp not really much going on and the new cursed ship whoa so already there's like these windows and stuff which makes the ship actually look like a ship and the old one kind of just looks like it's some insane asylum the new one is also much lighter than before like whenever i go in the cursed ship i can barely see anything because it's so dark in the cursed ship but things are going to change in the new one this is the old factory really plain really bland and the new factory that actually looks like a factory you got these pipelines going on and stuff you got all these wires and stuff going on the new factory also has this really cool metal gate Instead of this plastic block, the, the old factory just looks really stupid at this point. The old ice castle. Pretty decent, actually. Of course, not much going on. Again, pretty bland. But then the new one. Oh, ho, ho, the new one looks spicy. You got these lanterns. You got these windows that are lit up. You got this massive door, which probably leads to nothing. Everything just looks much more lighted and just more realistic and just alive, I guess. But in short, it looks much cooler. That's what I'm trying to say. And now we have the old marine fortress. This one is pretty decent. That pillar thing in the middle, I always hated it. It just kind of gets in the way. But that will, of course, change with the new one. And that will still not change with the new one. The buildings are still kind of blocking the front. I think it would have been better if they just removed this building in general here. But I mean, it's whatever. We have these rings going on. I have no clue what that is, but it does have windows. So I think it's like connected to the... I have no clue what the hell this is. You also have these two sub parts, which I'm thinking NPCs are going to spawn here. And probably there's also going to be the boss in the middle the vice admiral inside of that building and we also have the new volcano island in the background and that already from far away i'm a huge fan of that but that actually looks like lava unlike this old red blood fluid thingy that flows through the entire island it looks really ugly of course we don't have the full picture of the new volcano island but i can tell you it is most definitely better and we also have these new scroll thingies. So we have this curse scroll, mythical scroll, legendary scroll, rare scroll. And we also have some common scroll, I'm pretty sure. But we can't really see it. We can kind of like see the outline of it. But this is used for upgrading something or something. I'm not sure what this is used for. There's also going to be some UI changes. Like, look at this. I think this UI changes looks much more aligned. In my opinion, these UI changes look better. But honestly, it will be a bit of a hassle to get used to them. So you can enhance Dark Blade with all this material. 
and we also have this social profile thingy which of course you know me i'm gonna flex all my items and everything on here and along with that we also got concept arts for all the sword revamps starting off with the trident now the old trident looks really plain and basic not much going on but then the new trident that just looks much better now here's the old shark shot pretty classic not really much going on compared to the new shark saw now the new shark saw actually looks like it's made of like shark teeth and like it actually looks heavy and next is the old bicento now the old bicento looks again really plain really bland not really much going on compared to the new bicento now the new bicento definitely takes the cake here it has this like small blade on the end but my favorite part has to be the new design now that just looks whoa and then next up we have the long sword now the old long sword looks really plain just this handle and this blade compared to the new long sword now the new long sword looks much more heavier this mostly just has a better design going on next up we have the katana now the old katana looks pretty simple just this handle and some paper for the blade and then the new katana now the new katana looks nearly the same but much more refined now next up we have the cutlass now the old cutlass just looks pretty simple i really like the old cutlass looks it looks pretty goofy which suits me and it's used by the unhinged clown bobby but i guess he'll be getting a new sword with this new cutlass it just looks way more detailed and then next up we have the iron mace now the old iron mace just looks more like a spite club than an actual iron mace but that's gonna change with the new one the new one actually looks like a mace and it's also made of iron it's nowhere close to the old one and then next up we have the warden sword now the old warden sword is just oh, I, I didn't i didn't know how long the sword was holy and now the old warden sword isn't really anything too special now the new warden sword has this really sharp curve and this hook on the top for some reason and then they also have this half drawn circle on the end and overall just looks way more detailed and refined and then next up we have the saber now the saber is something that i really wanted a revamp for now the old saber doesn't even look sharp it looks like one of those balloon toys compared to the new saber now the new saber is something else compared to the old one it definitely looks way better you have this really cool handle and just looks much more detailed and sharper and the next up we have the dual headed blade now holy why is this sword this long the old dual headed blade doesn't really look very fun to use but compared to the new dual headed blade this one has way more going on the new dual headed blade have these really sharp curved tips and this really cool handle i like this new one way better than the old one and the next up we have the pole now the old pole is just not really much to talk about actually Actually, compared to the new pole it's not even a pole that's more so like a spear but who cares and the next up we have the yo <laughs> i mean the soul cane now the old soul cane just looks exactly like promised like a cane compared to the new soul cane that looks uncomfortable to use see the spikes on the handle but i don't really get why you would put any spikes on a cane now the blade definitely looks really cool and now here's the old pipe i mean pretty standard just just a pipe and now here's the new pipe Huh? Is that even a pipe? That looks more like an iron mace than a pipe. But I, I mean, it looks pretty cool. And then next up, we have one of the three legendary swords, the Sishui. Now, the concept art for this is pretty cool. You got the sick purple blade. And here's the new Sari. Honestly, has to be one of the best glow ups that any sword is gonna receive. Next up is the Wando. Again, really cool, really slim. All right, next up, we have the Coco. Now, the old Coco looks pretty cool. It has this fluffy ring on the handle, which looks pretty unique. And the new coco which the fluffy ring thingy is gonna get changed to this plus sign the blade is nearly the same but honestly i really prefer the old ring it looks more unique that way here's the old tushita these already look pretty cool either ways here's the new tushita honestly the best part about this new tushita has to be it's suba the suba is gonna get wings which really adds to that heavenly look that they're going for tushita and then there's kind of the same thing going on with the yama which honestly looks pretty cool they're kind of changing the suba to this vampire hell wings which looks pretty cool next up we have the dragon trident now the old dragon trident looks pretty cool i like this gem thingy in the middle that's going on but the new one completely blows it out of the dust that is crazy you have these little shark fin thingies but the best thing about it is the dragon on the tip that's crazy and the next up we have the pole second form honestly i really like the model right now and out with the new oh man it kind of just looks like a normal trident now it doesn't have 
have that lightning feel. I really like that blue tip that they had before. I really do hope that they change this pole. Next up, we have the gravity cane. Now, the gravity cane is kind of just a cane. That's it. Not really anything crazy. But the new gravity cane is kind of the same as the old one. But it has these really cool gold accent going around. And it's generally just much sharper than before. Next up, we have the Jite. Now, the old Jite. Oh, God. I never realized Jite was this huge. Jite is honestly kind of like a forgotten sword. Anyways, here's the new model. Now, the new model actually looks much cooler. I, I really prefer this new model. The old one kind of looks blunt and not really a blade. Anyways, the next sword is the Rengoku. Now, the Rengoku already looks pretty cool. It has this cloth thing on the sheet and then this cartoony looking flame for the Tsuba with the new one. Oh my god. So, first off, already the Tsuba looks much cooler and the sheet. <laughs> Probably Rengoku has to be my favorite sword out of all of these. They really went off with the flames and the colors. Next up, we have the Midnight Blade. Now, the old Midnight Blade already looks pretty cool. It has this glowing thing in the middle, but the new Midnight Blade just looks even cooler. Look at this one. Oh my god. This overall looks really cool, really detailed, and just really refined. And then next up, we have the Hallow Sight. Now, the old Hallow Sight already looks really cool. I don't really see why they would change this, but they're changing it anyways to make it look cooler. The new one already looks pretty close to the old one. It has this hole in the blade for some reason. And overall, just looks more slick, I guess. And the next up, we have the twin hooks. Now, the old twin hooks are already pretty cool. And they're as the name suggests, hooks. But anyways, here's the new model. Honestly, I prefer the old one, actually. I think the old one looks more like hooks, I guess. But definitely, this one also looks pretty cool. Next up, we have the Cavender. Now, the old Cavender already looks pretty cool. It has this rose for the Suba. And with the new Cavender, it's already looking pretty cool. It has this shield thing for the handle. Looking pretty standard, but this kind of looks more so like an ice sword, not more so like a rose sword. But overall, it looks pretty cool. And the next up, we have the Spiky Trident. Now, the old Spiky Trident is a classic. It looks just like a Trident. Like, it looks pretty cool, but with the new Spiky Trident, it's just spiky. Spike 1, Spike 2, Spike 3, Spike, 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 Spike. Spike, 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 spike. That's what the sword has now. And then lastly, we have the buddy sword. Now, the old buddy sword already looks pretty cool. I think it would have been way cooler if they, like, animated the sword, had the eyes moving and the mouth moving. But with the new revamp, it looks even better. I think I honestly prefer it without the eyes and mouth. And then other than that, new fruits are also getting added. Because look at this tweet. Rupendra asked, which fruit will be the strongest? The Kitsune fruit or the Celestial fruit? Which makes me believe that the Celestial fruit might just be coming out soon. And then there's also this brown fruit i guess i don't really know what fruit this is this might be the mammoth fruit or the swamp fruit. i don't know what this is it's way too blurred and this is what the kitsune fruits moveset might look like and this is what the kitsune transformation might look like Apart from all the new fruits, some fruits are also getting a huge rework. Like the control fruit, which really needs a rework. Like it is completely out of the meta right now. And the dragon fruit, which is also facing the same fate as control, but not as much. And I found this really cool video showing us the rework. I really do hope that the dragon gets some power up like this. This is insane. And then we got the heat breath, which is the Z move of dragon. That's actually what it might look like. And for the control control fruit, I have gotten this GPO clip. And this is what the control might look like after the rework. This clip is actually from GPO. And I couldn't really find any reference for the control rework in block fruit. So, uh, yeah. And honestly, I'm really happy that they're finally reworking these fruits. Because they are completely out of the meta while being on the legendary rarity. But now, let's get the input of the community. Alright, kid, what do you think about the new weekly updates that they're gonna do? I think weekly updates gonna be good for us players. But that's gonna be really hard to manage for the devs. Monthly updates will be much better and more manageable. Any guesses on what the next fruits could be? From what I see from Rip Inger's Twitter, I believe it's gonna be Kitsune first. Celestial, everybody wants the Magnet Fruit. I don't know why, but I think Magnet Fruit is coming out. Magnet Fruit, that, that'll be pretty interesting. What are your thoughts on the future of Block Fruits? Once all the update comes out, I think we're going to hit at least 1 million players and it's going to be the biggest game in Roblox. Very bright future for Block Fruits indeed. What do you think about the new weekly updates, Anu? I think everybody should use star code Noobie. Any guesses on what the next fruits could be? Just based off of the fruit concept contest winners, I guess it would be the Kitsune or the the Celestial, although I have no idea what either of those would even be. What are your thoughts on the future of Blocks Roots? I think the future of Blocks Roots is very bright. Oh man, I should have brought my sunglasses. Edit sunglasses on my face. Why did you make it all about yourself again? Screw you, Enyu. You're a bad interview. Yo, what do you think of the new Blocks Roots update? Uh, what? What, what do you think about the new Blocks Roots update? 
locks fruit update never mind that question what do you think about the new kitchener fruit that they're dropping is that like a new type of food uh never mind that question either uh what do you think about the new weekly update that they're gonna drop oh like the bedwars map rotation they've had that for a while now actually bro <gasps> Wait, is this Hypixel? Overall, I think this update will change Bloxus forever for the good. And I'm most hyped about the new Kitsune fruit that might be coming. And maybe some other fruits too. Who knows? Anyways, subscribe for this new update 20 and bye.